How you going, Herbie? Oh, good, K-Man. Hey, team. Welcome to Fitness Training Tips. It's the K-Man here. Let me introduce... This is Herbie. Hi, yeah, guys. This is Herbie. And we're going to introduce to what we call fitness training tips. These are the little pieces of information that you learn on a regular basis going to add up to a worth of knowledge in the long term in your career. And I understand as a fitness trainer, fitness professional, you find it hard to self-educate yourself because you're always on the run, you're always working, getting clients, running a fitness business, wherever it might be, and you find it hard to you know, get time to educate yourself. So sometimes it's better to snack on knowledge over time, and this is what this is going to be. This is going to be snacking on little pieces of information This is relevant to training in the fitness profession. So how about we get the ball rolling? Hey Herbie? Yeah, okay, man. And let's start with our first session. And we'll do these on a regular basis so you can just keep snacking away while you're training and you can fit them into your busy schedule as a fitness professional. First rule I'm going to share with you is when I look at any particular exercise. And a lot of times, a lot of trainers look at exercise from the outside in. I'm going to share with you a new concept called the inside out. So if I've got a dumbbell here and I'm doing a workout and I'm going, yeah, look at that, that's fantastic, that's working with deltoids, isn't that awesome? Right. And most trainers, all they think about is the muscle. And that's it, that works the deltoid, yeah, delts, get bigger delts. What I'm going to share with you is a different concept. Rather than looking from the body from the outside in, look at it from the inside out. So what I do is I put on my x-ray vision goggles, like Superman, and that's why they call me the K-Man, because I have my K-Man goggles, I can see through all the flesh. And what I always look at first is a vision of Herbie. Hey Herbie. Oh, I can't tell you what you're looking at. Well, I'll let you know in a minute. So when someone's doing exercise, I, I imagine that the dumbbell is, is in Herbie's arm, and he's pushing it up. So what I look at first is what is that exercise, not what it's doing for the muscle, because we know it works, it works the muscle. I look at what's it doing to the joint? What's it doing to the bones? What's it doing to the cartilage? What's it doing to the meniscus if it's in the knee? What's it doing to the um, um, synovial membrane? What's it doing to the ligaments? What's it doing to the tendons? And then the last thing I look at is what's it doing to the muscle? Because one thing I learned being of the second half of the century, second half? No, the second half of a half a century, meaning I'm 50 years of age, is that when you're young, you can do all sorts of stuff and you train the muscles, and it doesn't have any effect on the joints that you can feel. But when you get to 50, you start to suffer from lots of uh, pains, osteoarthritis, osteoporosis, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, capsulitis, bursitis, ostitis, panofasciitis, tendonitis, or the itises, and these are very painful conditions that stop you from working the muscles, because you can't work the muscles if the joints are stuffed. So this is a nice philosophy to look at. This is my philosophy. Work the muscles while protecting the joints, not work the muscles while compromising the joints. So if I'm looking at this exercise and someone's doing this, I'm not looking at what's it doing to the deltoid. I'm thinking, what's it doing to the joint? What's it doing to the bones? What's it doing to the tendon? What's it doing to the structure of the joint? Because if the joint is stuffed, you're not going to be able to do the exercise anyway to work the muscle. So we'll just start, we won't go too much into that particular exercise, and we'll go into lots of different exercises over time. But when you look at an exercise thing, is it compromising the joint? Is it creating stress in the joint? Is it creating shearing forces or compression forces or rotational forces or uncontrolled forces or any form of detrimental force through the joint? And if it is, then don't do it because even though it works the muscle, it's working the muscle while destroying the joint or deteriorating the joint. You need to choose safe exercises that work the muscle or condition the muscles or train the muscle while protecting, while protecting the joint without compromising it. So look at exercise, everything you do from the inside out. Get your x-ray vision goggles on, look at all the exercises you're doing and start to see who are you doing the exercise and think, is that good for the joint? Because if you destroy the joint, you're not gonna be able to work the muscles anyway. So that's our first tip for this upcoming strong. Evaluate all your exercises that you're doing. Evaluate the exercise your clients are doing. Just evaluate exercises and just look at safety is most important to start with and get your x-ray vision goggles on and look at an exercise from the inside out, not 
superficially like most trainers do from the outside in. A great tip to get started with. We'll see you in the next tip.